Hi, I'm Jennifer. Happy St. Patrick's Day and welcome to Unearthed Relics. Today I'm going to show off some of my favorite thrifted and vintage finds that are for St. Patrick's Day. So first off, I've got this great Redmond basket. Um, it's green, obviously, so it goes great for um, vintage displays of various sorts, but especially on St. Patrick's Day. I have this little cutie patootie. Isn't he adorable? He's missing the top of his little instrument. I don't know what that is, um, but he's still in pretty good shape given the fact that I think he's probably pretty old and has been repaired multiple times. So got that little festive fun guy. I have this cute little pair of St. Patrick's Day, um, I don't know what you call those little knickknacks um, that I had gotten at the Goodwill a long, long time ago. <laughs> in fact, um, I probably had these for over a decade. In any case, I paid 49 cents for that at the Goodwill, and I think I probably paid the same for him. So they have been a part of many displays over the years, and I love them. I also have these great um, advertisement um, vests for old St. Fitz or old old fits, I guess, whiskey, I'm assuming. Um, but you just kind of pop those on over um, under a jacket. They look really, really cute. And because there's two of them, uh, when my husband and I have gone out in the past, we've been able to wear those. So those are really fun. Those came from my grandparents. So that makes them extra special. Uh, I've got these cool crocheted shamrocks. So those are kind of fun. Uh, I am not a crocheter, but I wish I was on occasions such as this because I think those would be really fun to kind of mass produce. So if you are a crocheter and have ideas for how to go about making them, they look like they're pretty similar in terms of how they were made. That would be really fun. I have some other vintage little pins and things. And this one I always feel a little guilty wearing because it says I'm Irish, but everybody's Irish on St. Patrick's Day, right? But we just checked 23 of me and I am officially 1.5% Irish. So I feel like it's totally legit for me to wear this one this year. So I'm gonna pop that one on. Now that I know that I am officially Irish and not just on St. Patrick's Day. Um, I also have this really cool old blanket um, that's great for picnics or just kind of displays at different times of year. And I think that's kind of fun and festive for St. Patrick's Day. So I don't have a ton of um, decor um, or uh, vintage ephemera, but those are my fun things that I've been able to craft with. And I've also kind of played around with some different displays using green books and tins that have green in them. And I think I've come up with some fun stuff. But the really cool thing uh, that relates to St. Patrick's and is definitely vintage is my beetle. <laughs> so my husband and I got this this past summer and I drove her for the first time today. Her name is Junebug. We call her Junie B. And I'm gonna go ahead and show her off here real quick. So this is Junie B. She's a 1970 Volkswagen Beetle and she is absolutely precious and adorable. She's got the frunk. <laughs> we also have a really cool uh, luggage rack for her that I don't have on right now. So I think she's the perfect thing for St. Patrick's Day. Mm -hmm. 